hello so i've been recently really looking into korean um, skincare and the 10-step skincare routine that koreans do um, before i only had kind of i guess a one and a half step skincare routine as i just wash my face and then i do exfoliation and moisturizer just maybe a couple times a week so i want to have healthier and younger looking skin because i'm a 22 year old hag now and I want to stay looking young and have better skin. So um, I am deciding to try the 10 step skincare routine. So the 10 step routine includes first using an oil based cleanser and then a foam based cleanser, exfoliator, toner, essence, serum, and then a sheet face mask, eye cream, and then moisturizer. That's the first nine and the 10 step is SPF, which is basically sun protection, which I'm gonna skip since I'm mostly inside anyways. Um, so here's the haul that I bought a bunch of products, made sure they were from good brands and um, good products. Um, so I'm gonna show you all the products that I bought. So here I have the products that I bought. Um, I made sure to get at least one of each of the nine steps that I was gonna go through. So first I have some sheet masks here. These are from Tony Moly. Um, they're kind of like fruit and vegetable themed scented. So this one's like, I'm avocado. I don't know what muck gaoli is. Tomato, lemon, etc. So these are sheet masks. I got a few more sheet masks here from Metaheal. Um, these are supposedly really uh, popular in Korea. I even got one with Jimin on it because he's my bias in BTS. So here I have a few creams. This one is from Belief. It's an Aqua Bomb moisturizer. So this is for hydration. This one is a water sleeping mask. So it's like a nighttime moisturizer that um, you wear while you sleep. This is also from Laneige. It's an eye gel. So this is for eye moisturizing because I do get really dry eyes or like the skin around my eyes, I mean. So here I have two products from Innisfree. Um, it's a really reputable brand in Korea. So first is the clay mask, which will be used for exfoliating. And then I have the green tea serum. Here I got um, like a kind of gift set from Momonde. It comes with an oil cleanser, toner, and then a gel cream moisturizer. And then last I have here, this is from Cosrx. Um, this is Essence. It's like made of snail mucin, which is kind of weird, but apparently it works. So I bought this, it has really good reviews. And then this is a rice water cleanser from the face shop. So I'm gonna unbox all these. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Aqua Bomb moisturizer from Belief. It has a cute little whale lid on the top. So this is what it looks like when I open it. Oh, it's like this ice blue kind of gel-like cream. Okay. And then next we have the Laneige water sleeping mask. comes with like a little spoon thing to get the cream out. So this is what it looks like. I really like the packaging of this brand. It's really pretty. So it looks kind of similar to the Aqua Bomb. So it's kind of like a nice blue gel-like consistency. And this is also from Laneige, the eye gel. pretty. Then. So kind of similar too, but it's like white. Okay, I'm gonna open the Innisfree ones now. So this is the clay mask.
comes in like a little tube. Oh, I think there's a thing on it, so I have to open to see what it looks like. Huh. It's like kind of grayish. So this has like volcano clusters in it. Interesting. Okay. And this one is the green tea seed serum. So it looks like this. Serum is more like liquidy. Um, like the other ones I opened before, more thick and like gel-like, but this is uh, it's very thin and kind of water-like. Okay, this is the Snail Mucin Essence from Cosrx. This is also, yeah, it's like very clear, kind of thin and water-like, but also kind of gooey. This is the rice um, water cleanser. I mean, there's not much to open here, just in a shrink wrap. I think this has a film on it too. Yep. So this is like white, kind of thick cream cleanser. Okay, and then last I'm gonna open this um, set. This is actually a steal. It was only like $11 at Ulta right now because of like Valentine's Valentine's Day sales, but it was 50% off. Anyways, so first, here we have this, uh, this is the oil cleanser. It came with a little pump too, so after I use it, I can switch this off and that'll be easier to use. Here's the toner, and then here's the cream. So here's everything unboxed. Um, of course, I'm not going to unbox the masks, the sheet masks, because they're single use only. But yeah, here's everything, and I'm going to try it and um, post an update on how it all works. Alright, so I've used all the products, tried them for a couple weeks, and I'm going to review all of them. So first up, the oil cleanser from Mamonde. Um, this had a really nice scent to it. It's um, like rose water. Um, it, it was not a bad cleanser, but I think for my skin type, it maybe wasn't the best match. It left my skin a little bit oilier than I wanted to. Um, I have combination skin, so it gets greasy like in my T-zone, like this part of my forehead and my nose. So I might want to try a different foam cleanser. I would say maybe if I would get it again. Uh, next, I have the rice foam cleanser. And I really like the smell of this product. It felt nice. It's like a pretty soft kind of cream. Um, I didn't notice any significant changes to my skin after using this. It didn't really brighten it or anything, but it did feel pretty, it felt really clean and um, like smooth after. Would I buy this again? I would probably say maybe leaning a little more towards yes but I might want to try some different foam cleansers. Next, I have the clay mask I got from Innisfree. So for this one, I probably would not get this again. Um, it didn't it didn't really like clear out my blackheads or exfoliate my skin super well. And I didn't really notice much of a difference on my skin after using it, but I have read about another uh, 
exfoliator from the same brand that seemed to be working better for people. So I think I'm going to try that next. So next I have this rose water toner from Momonde that came with the pack that the oil cleanser also came with. And I would probably say about the same thing for this toner. Like I really like the smell, but um, like for my skin, I don't know if it did much. So I would, I, I'm kind of iffy on purchasing this again. I might try other toners. Okay, and then, oh, this one's my favorite product. This was the Snail Essence. So I was a little bit skeptical about this when I first got it, because I was like, snail, that's kind of weird. Never tried anything with it, but this was by far like the best product that I've had. And I am probably going to buy this like until they don't sell it again. Well, hopefully that never happens, but this stuff worked like a miracle. I've never used such an effective skin product. Like I don't have a lot of acne, but I had a little bit like on the sides and this stuff like erased it overnight and that was like some really stubborn acne that no other skin product got rid of it was just kind of small bumps but this stuff worked and it made my skin feel really nice um more like glowy and smooth so i would definitely recommend this from um Cosarx, the snail 96 essence all right so after that i have the green tea serum from innisfree um, this one, I guess, kind of like with some of my other reviews, smelled nice, was kind of light, didn't see a huge difference in my skin. Um, I did read, though, that this serum is supposed to be mainly for the pur purpose of hydrating your skin a lot, which may be more fitting for people with dry skin. Since I have a uh, combination skin in some places already can get a little oily, it might have been not the best fit for my skin type, so I'll probably try a different serum. All right, here I have the water sleeping mask from Laneige. Uh, this stuff, I found it pretty similar to the Belief moisturizer that I'll be discussing later. Uh, has a nice, faint, uh, pretty subtle scent. Feels nice on the skin, it's very hydrating. So next up, I had the sheet masks, which I tried. Um, I tried a few from Metaheal and from Tony Moly. Uh, I didn't use up all of them, but for those, I would say the Tony Moly mask, it was really hydrating, but other than that, it didn't do much for my skin. So I probably wouldn't get it again. It also, um, it burned a little when I first put it on and I don't even have very sensitive skin. So I probably would definitely not recommend it if you do have sensitive skin, because if it burned a tiny bit for me, it probably would if you have sensitive skin. Um, the Metaheal mask, that one did not burn my skin and I liked the way that mask fit on my face a lot. Um, most masks, I kind of have to like pull some corners around so it can fit. Uh, that one was, I wouldn't say it made a huge difference to my skin, but it was a little more noticeable than the Tony, Tony Moly one. So I'll probably just try Metaheal masks from now on and try some different types and maybe look into some other brands as well. And then after that, I had the Laneige eye cream. So this eye cream, I haven't seen like any drastic results yet. I'm probably gonna give it a little more time. I have a little bit of dry skin under my eyelids, like right there. And it's moisturized it like kind of minorly. The consistency and smell of this is really nice. And as a plus, there's very pretty packaging, which kind of tempts me to buy it, but. This is probably another maybe if I would try it again, but I probably want to try some other uh, eye moisturizers too, so I can uh, clear up the dry skin there. And then finally, I have the moisturizer from Belief. Um, I really like this. I would probably get it again. It smells nice. It has a nice texture and it's really hydrating. Um, I did have to experiment a bit with it to like, get an idea of how much to put on and stuff because the first few times I put on a little too much and I think it kind of over moisturized my face so um, as I used it more I put more like of a thin layer and it worked better for my skin. All right so that is all the products that I got for my first attempt at the Korean 10 or 9 step I guess skincare routine for me. 
I would say after a couple weeks, I definitely noticed my skin, um, it got brighter, um, more even, really uh, smooth and a little bit less acne. While I do recommend this whole routine, I think it definitely worked better than what I did before and had positive effects on my skin. I would probably recommend trying out some different products or research on like what product is best for your skin type because I think that was the main issue for me looking through all these products that some of them were better for my skin type and some of them weren't the best fit. So I'm gonna probably change around some of the products and see how they work on my face. So that is all. Thanks for watching.